Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add RSVP event on your Wix website. If you haven't got your Wix account yet, it is very easy to create and it's also for free. All you have to do is go to Wix.com and start creating your account on Wix. And now we are going to create a wedding website for free with Wix. And this is going to be very helpful if you're planning to create a wedding and you need to maybe limit your guests or you would just like to create a list of people who are going to come to your wedding. You can use Wix as one of the platform to see and to list your wedding guest. So first things first, after you sign up or you signed in into your Wix website, we're going to go ahead and click create new website and then they're going to tell you that they already have some sort of ai system that are going to help you build your website but for today we're just going to skip this so i'm going to go ahead and click set up without chat and here they're going to ask you about what type of website do you want to create since i'm going to create a wedding website i'm going to try and type it in right here you can see that we got wedding planner and then wedding planning company. We got the save the date, we got wedding blog, etc. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose the regular wedding for now. And then I'm going to click on continue. And here you're going to want to add the name of your business, which is actually the part where you can add the name of the bride and groom so i'm just going to put on random name for now let's say it's going to be georgia and matt and i'm just going to skip this part right here and click on continue then you're going to want to choose on the goals for the site so whether it's to host an event or maybe get booked online etc i think i'm going to click host an event get book online and what i meant by that is i'm going to want to get the rsvp system to my website and maybe i also want to share all about my weddings over there and i'm going to go ahead and click on continue and now they're going to prepare our website and we will have to wait until they're done. All right, so now that we got the website dashboard, we're going to start by clicking this design site. And then I always start with a customization of a template. You can actually start with the AI tools, but I prefer this one because I feel that this one is easier. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. And here you can search for wedding template to start finding the perfect templates for you. Don't worry, every single one is definitely customizable. So let's say that you like one of them, but it's still not perfectly how you want it to be. You can just change it according to your style. So let's say I am going to be using this one. I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit and it's going to bring me to the website editor. All right, so here is the homepage website editor. And again, they're going to ask us whether we want to add some wordings with the help of their AI systems. Again, I'm just going to skip this, but feel free to add some prompt over here just to fill in your website. But for today, we're just going to focus on the RSVP features of Wix. And we're not going to focus too much on the content of the site so first things first i'm going to show you real quick on what are the things that you can actually edit so let's say you want to change the color of the theme of the website you can always go to the site design right here and they're going to give you the site theme that you currently have and then if you would like to change the color to different color they have a bunch of options that you can choose so you can just try and choose one that you feel suits you the most i kind of like this one so i think i'm going to use this for now and let's say that we want to edit the content you can just simply click on the part of the site that you want to edit and then they're going to show you further settings 
for your design and let's say because our website is about Georgia and Matt so I'm going to change this to G and M instead and then if you would like to change the background of the home page you can also just click on the picture and then they're going to show you this section then you can just go ahead and click on change and they'll show you a bunch of pictures that they have or you can create one with the AI image or you can also just go ahead and click on image right here and you'll be able to upload your own image if you want to you can just click this upload media here or I'm just going to search for a wedding ring image for the main banner of my website so I'm just going to take a look at the one that I prefer maybe this one's right here or this one I kind of like both of them but I think this one looks better so I'm going to go ahead and click that one and then click on change background all right so it looks some things like that now let's go to the RSVP part so in order to be able to add to add the RSVP section you want to go to this symbols some sort of setting symbols and then you can search for RSVP and here they're going to show you a bunch of things that we can do such as this my event section so I'm going to go ahead and click that and these are some of the things that we can put and in case your website does not have this part right here you're going to want to just add it into your website you can simply click on it or you can just drag it to your website but mine already have this schedule and RSVP option so all I have to do is click on manage event and it's going to bring me to the event selection or event settings all right so here I got back into the editing dashboard and we're going to go ahead and click at event I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch and you can see that we have two different event type we got ticketed event as well as RSVP event obviously if it's a wedding it's not going to be a ticketed event unless you do want to make it a ticketed event just for fun it's definitely up to you but if you would like to do it the general way, you can choose the RSVP event and then give it the name. Again, it's going to be Georgia and Matt's wedding. And you can add some short teaser if you want. You can add your image. So you can just again upload your media through there. I'm just going to skip it for now. And it's going to be a single event. And let's say that it's going to happen on yeah, October 9, starting at 7 and, and at 11. Then you can choose your time zone and you can choose whether you want to display your event and date and time or you just want to show the time zone or maybe you don't want to show both of them. I'm just going to show both of them and then you can choose the location whether it's going to be a physical location or online and you can also search the address or the venue name so that your friend and family will be able to see it I'm going to try and search for maybe Jakarta wedding hall and see if we can find something I'm just going to randomly choose a wedding ballroom so we got that then you can add some more about the event and once you're done with that you can go ahead and click create draft all right and this is how it looks like so far and i'm just going to go ahead and click publish if you still want to edit some details you can see that you can always click edit details right here but if you're good with it then you can just go ahead and continue and publish it then you can also add custom registration form if you want. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to publish our website so that we can take a look at the preview of our event. Now, let's pretend that I have already changed all of the details of my website because again, I'm not going to focus on the content at all. We're just going to focus on the RSVP 
section. So here we got the schedule and RSVP and let's see what happens if we click on it. All right, as you can see, we got the name of the event and then we got the time and date well just the date actually and then we also got the location and for the details you can just scroll down and you can see you got everything covered here as well as the map of the event and if you would like to RSVP we can just click on the button and now we can add our details and click on submit then you'll be able to see the details of people who are SVP'd into your event through the settings section. And that's basically it. That is how you can create RSVP for wedding with Wix website. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.